Greetings. My name is Ms. Shree, and I'm an instructor here at the Inter-Service Training Activity at Fort Jackson, South Carolina. Today, I'm here to talk to you about AMPS, uh, not particularly this one that was created in 1909, uh, but the one that came along in 2000. And I've been in the postal community for quite a while, not since 1909. Um, but back in the day, I used to do all of my postal operations with pen, paper, and what is called a typewriter. Uh, but in 2000, MPSA, which is our military postal service agency, they're located in Virginia, they contracted out a job to some IT folks to create a program called AMPS. That's the Automated Military Postal System. And what AMPS has done has taken all of the manual labor out of the work and put it into a program that allows us to do that all electronically. So I highly advocate uh, that you still learn the paper and pencil way. Uh, that's how I learned and I recommend it because in the event that you don't have any power uh, or perhaps you don't have capability of the internet or a computer at a particular deployed location, you still have to be mission capable. Uh, and so knowing how to do things the paper-based way is good. However, if you do have the opportunity uh, to have AMPS, by all means, you're going to want to log into AMPS and do what you can do uh, manually on AMPS. So the first thing I'd like to show you is to get started is to create an AMPS account. Uh, and then I'd like to just go over a very basic tab, which is the Home tab. So let's get started. Here we are, we're at the AMPS homepage, and I draw your attention to the top left-hand corner where you have your AMPS address. Uh, if you're like me, I don't always remember the address, so sometimes I will Google it, and if you type in AMPS, it will come up. If you type in Automated Military Postal Service, you'll get to the website as well. Down here on the left-hand side, you have your need assistance, contact your major command, and if you need to reset your password. Uh, here in the bottom left, you have how you apply for your AMPS user account. So click on that, and it takes you to the application for the user account. And it's pretty self-explanatory to put your name in there and your email address. Good thing it's a long block for my name. And for the departure date down here, I'm just going to give what would be a date that I would perhaps be PCSing. I'm just making up a date right now. And I'm using our training location as our zip code. You would use wherever it is that you're at. And then submit. All right, email will be sent with further instructions. So after you submit this email, uh, you'll receive an email from your from your at your email address that you gave them and it will provide you with your new username and it's a highly complicated password um, so I suggest that you copy and paste that password when you go to log in for your first time and then you'll be uh, directed to create your own uh, password and I'm sure you're going to want to use something much more easier than the application that they're going to give you so I've already got an account established so I'm going to go ahead and log in now And notice at the top left-hand corner up here, I have an internal management uh, tab, but that is only because I've been given that access. Uh, if you're out in the field, you're only going to be given this screen, which offers you the home tab, the operations tab, transportation, and knowledge management tab. So let's just talk about today about our home tab. And the first uh, link on your left hand side is your account tab so notice when you click on that you're able to change your password update contact information set a default role certification profile and print an MPS employee ID uh, and what that is is a barcode for the location where you're at 
Um, one of the ones that I really like is this right here, which is your metrics. Um, what are some of the reasons you might want to use your metrics tab? And something that I could think of is perhaps my commander, my manager, supervisor has asked me for some statistics. Um, so uh, maybe there's a report due or something that someone needs to know about. Um, maybe mail volume for Christmas mail or how much alcohol has been mailed at our location. So I'm going to click on that and notice how I've got all of the results of all the different branches of service of postal offense statistics. Um, and usually I have people right away say, wow, Army, what's going on? Um, they have the most, and understandably so. But keep in mind that the Army is the largest entity uh, that is moving mail in overseas locations. So um, nothing against the Army there. Um, but again, very good information, uh, a good tool to be able to use if I needed to report or to you know, have, a, have any kind of requirement for that type of information. So that's available for you. Uh, notice you have also AMPS email. Uh, and in there is just an AMPS mailbox and how do you manage your email account. We also have tests and certifications. And this one is pretty good because it has a basic certification test that you have to take. Uh, and I believe it's annual that you have to update that. And it's just your basic knowledge of AMPS. Uh, here's one for voting training, and keep in mind, everyone, uh, that this becomes a very hot item, hot topic uh, when we have election years. So next year in 2016, I would dare say you will definitely be in this, ta in this uh, tab. You also have your dangerous goods mailing, handling, and voting certification, uh, receptacle nesting, and dis dispatching. So uh, this is a new incentive that's coming out and uh, good information that it's helping us all because this, this one is relatively new. Uh, I like the next one, which says submit a suggestion. Um, I had a student and I have a question about a particular tab, and I thought to myself, I'm just going to go ahead and submit this suggestion. And so I did it, and I thought, uh, you know, nothing's probably going to happen. But sure enough, I was contacted by the people that be that handle AMPS, and um, they said that it was a really a great suggestion, and they were going to implement that, and they were glad that someone was actually submitting su suggestions out there. So that, that's a tool out there available for you as well. The next one is a what's new, and I like to go to this one just to kind of keep my finger on the pulse of what is going on out in the field. So uh, notice that attachments can now be included with postal fence reports. So this is a brand new initiative here that you can now include uh, pictures or photos uh, when you're doing a postal offense. Uh, and then again, improvements or anything that's new and improved that's going on out in the field that's, that's really brand new. So you see the date is, is very, very current. Then to the left here, again, just more generic tabs. Uh, under what's new, you have favorites, MPO finder, messages. You have an AMPS user directory email webmaster so you can actually send an email that way as well versus the submit suggestion and you also have a help button and again you can type in your search engine up there anything while you're under the help link and it'll it will take you where you need to go so that concludes our first lesson in amps uh, you've been shown how to get an account and you've been shown the home page tab options thank you